Good day, folks. A very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, one of the ZX Spectrum. I'm looking at a homebrew, well, a mod, really. Uh, this is Jet Set Willy, the Mr. Nosy Bomb edition, uh, written by Ian Rashford in 2019, and based, of course, on the original Jet Set Willy from Software Project in 1984, written by the brilliant uh, Matt Smith. Now, this has been reskinned to a degree based on the Kids UK TV show Jigsaw, which run from 1979 to 1984, and uh, most importantly, focusing on a character within that show called Mr. Nosy Bomb, which was supposed to be entertaining but he was equally quite scary so here we are so instead of jet set willy walking around it's this guy with this rather large nose and it's mr nosy bonk from jigsaw now you'll notice the music is different it's playing the music well uh, mr nosy bonk's theme music really from the show and at the start you notice the music was different as well that was a theme music to jigsaw now jigsaw ran for six series 50 episodes as i say from 1979 to 1984 if you're unfamiliar with that show well it's a kids puzzle solving uh, show uh, and entertainment as well. Right, so Maria's not there. There's the logo for Jigsaw, the TV show. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, Jigsaw and Mr. Nosy Bonk, well, it might be that you're not from the UK, so look it up. But he was supposed to be a friendly character, but he was darn scary. They wouldn't get away with that. And nowadays, um, you might see it from the, uh, the video's thumbnail, how scary that character was. But essentially, it's Jet Set Willy. That's all I know. Here we go. This is bringing back memories, really. I suppose I was about five or six when I watched Jigsaw back in the day. I can't remember any of it apart from Mr. Nosy Bonk, which just goes to show you. Now, watch the Nosy Bonks dancing at the bottom there. And I think this version, because Nosy Bonk's nose is so big, that could cause us a problem when we're up against tight um, levels i.e. Newman Looney. So I'll go in that direction, so, see if it causes any problems. But so many mods, so many mods, can I get through here? No. There's so many mods on uh, Jet Set Willy, this is another one we had to look at. There's loads of them, hundreds of them, probably. Tend to look at the better ones if we can, we've got quite a few. I'd be interested to get to the chapel, see what's there, but it might spell doom. Look at that. That head at the right there is brilliant graphics. Good, good, good. Jet Set Willy was a fantastic game, and it's good to see there's so many mods here. Uh, I'd like to see other games modded, but it doesn't tend to happen. I'd like to see Commando reskin to a certain degree, and other ones as well, but I think the programming must be a lot more difficult to get into for those ones, otherwise we'd see loads, because people would love to uh, redo Acid Attack, although there's a few mods of that, uh, but not with the actual um, graphics themselves. Um, well, apart from uh, Acid Attack, the Halloween edition by Alan Turvey, uh, where you control Saber Man, so, but yeah, what I'm saying is, yeah, as I destroy my own argument, there's not enough mods than what I'd like from various games. They all seem to be Manic Miner, Majority, and Jet Set Willy. La 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 Excellent. Now, I'm going to have to, um, after I've um, uh, recorded this, I'm going to have to listen to some nosy bolt music on, on uh, YouTube. There's bound to be some clips. Have a look yourself. Is the character, as a kid, would you have been really scared of this character or would you have found him funny? It's all like, uh, that's what's made him memorable, I think. It's like split the audience. Some kids might have had nightmares. Um, you know, uh, if, if you replace Jason Voorhees from the horror movies with Mr. Nosy Bonk, he would not be out of place. We saw Mr. Nosy Bonk in the woods and you was on your own, you'd certainly run off. Anyway, I'm sure he's friendly and just misunderstood, solving problems as he does so. Go, go, go. Right, west of the kitchen, you, you know the map, don't you, by now. The, the rest of the um, rest of the Jet Set Willy experience is exactly the same. We've collected one item, but he's got a huge nose. There's nothing wrong with that. But what is he doing in Jet Set Willy's house, anyway? It's about time someone else had a go. As we go up into the swimming pool, there's a, um, a game, another mod we recently covered in a live stream that at time of recording we haven't um, covered yet. It's Jet Set Willy uh, Mix-Up. And um, you can control a variety of characters you can choose from, including the uh, flying pig thing from the Nightmare Room. And there's, there's various other bits as well, a kangaroo, and it borrows a lot of graphics from Manic Miner, and some of the uh, the aliens, although they move in the same way, are um, a bit different. But that's one to see, so we'll probably look at that at some point as well. Not sure when, but we've looked at it at the live stream, so check out the ZX Spectrum uh, live stream. I think it was the end of December Spectrum stream, if you want to check that down, in the, in the live stream um, playlist. Hurrah! 
If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing because that helps me no end with the YouTube algorithm when it tries to decide who to promote, who to not to promote. But it's a very unfair system. But you have to learn. You can't. You can't. Um, well, the first thing you have to remember with YouTube, it is unfair. So you just have to get on with it. There we go and not stress about the thing. But the channel is all about defeating stress, having a bit of fun and a distraction from everyday life. So if you remember this from your childhood, it's Jet Set Willy with a little bit extra. I think we would have played these quite a lot, all these different mods, if they'd been uh, about then, but they were not. 2019, Ian Rashford, who's done a, a few mods, I think. Right, over this this peg thing. I, oh, is it, it's pliers, isn't it? It's peg or pliers. Peg or pliers, that, that old game we also play as a kid. Luma Looney. Um, whenever the mods are here for Jet Set Willy, they tend to be the first game. They don't seem to be the second game. Although in Jet Set Willy Mix-Up, you can play as the Spaceman when you go up in the rocket room for Jet Set Willy 2. But they tend to leave that alone. Maybe that's... Oh, no. Maybe it's easier to um, code or break into Jet Set Willy 1. But that's... Uh, I think there's quite a lot of editors out there for Jet Set Willy 1, so that's probably why. People just get hold of that and spend, um, I don't know, weeks on it or months on it recoding graphics. Right, now the nose is a problem. That's, that sticks out bigger than the normal Jet Set Willy Man. Look at it. It's probably about three or four pixels. Awkward. I think we're going to do that though, are we? Yep, that's it. Perfect timing. Well done again. Baba Daba. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do a search on the channel, just type in Jet Set Willy and see how, see how many videos come up. Uh, do it from within the channel page, though, or else it'll give you the whole of YouTube. If you're on the YouTube search engine, put N Jenkins Jet Set Willy. It'll still give you some other people's um, stuff, other channel stuff, but it'll give you the majority of these ones as well. Has he done that? He's just about done it on the roof. Yeah, I iconic, iconic, aren't they, these screens? Up on the battlements. Excellent, excellent. I'm trying to think what game I've probably played the most on the ZX Spectrum. It's, it's close between Attic Attack, Manic Miner, Jet Set Willy and Horus and the Spiders. They're the big four. Horus Goes Skiing, i played that a bit, but uh, slightly less, as well as Commander and Spy Hunter. But uh, yeah, it's definitely, whoa, it's definitely these ones, really. If you want um, a really crazy uh, homebrew that doesn't make too much sense, which uses the Jet Set Willy graphics, check out the review of Super Crap Invaders. Uh, that That's sort of like Space Invaders, but Jet Set Willy. Uh, that's the character control at the bottom. And he fires um, uh, missiles or guns out of his hat upwards, and at the same time must avoid arrows being forwarded back and forward. It's, it's absolutely crazy. So check that one out. It's good to see. Pink Battlements, they're still intact. And we know that this comes out to rescue Esmeralda, if we can get that far along the screen. Matt Smith, genius, wasn't he creating these games? Manic Miner first of all, then the heat was on, and he created Jet Set Willy. I mean, how do you top Manic Miner where you create Jet Set Willy? And uh, I'm glad they didn't go for the same thing again. Uh, more exploration, this one, but both of them are great, and I, I like it that one's just single level screen, and the other one's got a huge exploration. Absolutely awesome. Wasn't a Jet Set Willy free, but it'd been hard to top it rather than making the game bigger, but it's more than made up for it for all these amazing mods. There's another mod that I can never get working. Uh, it's pretty much the same as this, except instead of Mr. Nosy Bonk, you're controlling Maria, the housekeeper. Um, there's always some argument about why is Jet Set Willy hiring a housekeeper, and he has to do with the clear cleaning up. But there we go, it's just the way it works. It's, I'd, I'd like a house cleaning job a bit like that. Oh, I never knew. I never knew that happened. So if you jump there, you end up in Ballroom East. Ballroom East. Ballroom East. Not Ballroom Blitz. It's a Ballroom East. Right over the hall. I don't know who's left these green things in the middle of the hall. Some sort of crazy person. Uh, interior designer from hell. Uh, put a chandelier up and free like sharp cacti thing. Or they could be they could be those hatched eggs from Alien. And that's that opens up another another load of questions. Why? The front door. Now, probably the trickiest screen I think in the whole of uh, Jet Set Willy, the security guards. You'd think I know the timing by now. I sort of like do. Yeah, see. Four of them going up and down. The two red ones are in time with each other, almost. And then that yellow one is the problem. Trying to get the time between him and the green guy. So this could very well be the end of the go soon. But all the time, the music for Jigsaw plays on. I think all the other mods will mostly play the original um, Jet Set Willy music or uh, from Manic Miner sometimes. But it's, it's good. I mean, and it's also in the style, isn't it? It's in the style of the original um, uh, Jet Set Willy music. So it keeps the... See, no sticks out there. Would have been okay. It keeps the ambience of the original Jet Set Willy and just adds that extra bit to it. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. Take note, um, um, modders. This is how it should be done. 
I'm not sure how long it would have taken to do that music, but it shows attention to detail. I haven't just rushed this out one day. It's been a bit of fault there. Good, good, good. Right, okay. See, nose is sticking out more than I wanted to. That's a boo-boo again, I think. Oh, oh man. Oh, we're risking it here. There we go, we've done it. So, that wasn't perfect. Somehow I've, I've, I've sort of like, uh, bluffed my way through that section. Let's have a look. This is my last life as well. So that was quite, quite uh, okay. Like, the drive. You know how to get past this, do you? I can't go down straight away. We need to find the right gap between the pigeons. So, when we jump over that, that rock thing at the bottom, there's space enough for us to do so without hitting our great big nose on a pigeon of doom. And this is it. I don't I always wonder what that blue bit was. Is that going to open up? And it doesn't. It's just a bit of a rock. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's there. At the foot of the mega tree. Um, I think this is a, a razor blade jumping back and forward, or a saw, a hacksaw maybe. His house is uh, definitely haunted, or it's been infected by aliens or some mad scientist beforehand. I think this game is pretty tricky to complete, if you've done so uh, well, well done you. Um, I have got a video up that tells you what happens at the end of Jet Set Willy and Jet Set Willy 2, where I hacked it where I only had to collect one item. So take a look at that if you're interested to see what happens at the end of those two games. It's uh, literally the video is called What Happens at the End of Jet Set Willy 1 and 2. Oh, will I get away with that? Yes, good. Uh, the end of Jet Set Willy 2 is pretty interesting. Well, they're both pretty interesting. They're different They're different endings. It doesn't just start again. Nosy Bonk. Mr. Nosy Bonk. So Jet Set Willy, the Mr. Nosy Bonk edition. And other editions are probably out there. But got got to like Mr. Nosy Bonk. There's the off-license. Everyone's got an off-license in their house, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, dear. That could be it. Big foot comes down. Duh, duh. Yes, there we go, game over. So interesting, interesting, wasn't it? So I hope you liked having a look at that one. The Jet Set Willy, the Mr. Nosy Bomb edition on ZX Spectrum 48K, written by Ian Rushforth in 2019, and of course, based on the game Jet Set Willy from Software Project in 84 by Matt Smith. Now, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.